but I won't go quietly. I'll battle till the end. The long-awaited season five of The Crown is here. This installment brings us the next chapter in these compelling characters' stories, and with it, even more interesting and intriguing secrets. So stick around for everything that went into creating season five of The Crown. Number one. If you can, we can understand how actors develop strong opinions on their characters. And this is true for Dominic West, playing Charles as well. Dominic West said about being cast in his role, This is such a big show that has had so many great performances in it. But he had hesitations earlier on in production. Dominic holds the position of Ambassador of the Prince's Trust, a charity of which King Charles is the president. When Dominic learned he was going to play Charles, he offered to resign his position. In case of a conflict of interest, West said that his resignation offer was refused by a letter from King Charles' private secretary saying, You do what you like. You're an actor. It's nothing to do with us. It seems to us that Dominic took great care in portraying his character. Number 2. The Devil is in the Details Creating a believable character in The Crown Season 5 is a challenging task with a set of secrets, but creating a believable world for those actors to live in is a challenge with secrets all of its own. Set decorator Alison Harvey says, Our job is to try and create the world that the actors can sort of inhabit. We try and make that whole environment feel believable. Alison describes the approach to creating a world that is both believable for the viewers and inhabitable for the actors. We start with the flooring, the lighting, the big lumps of furniture. Ultimately, you end up with a paper knife. It's like moving house every day. Hopefully, by the end of it, it looks like someone lives there. Number 3. Who could have seen this coming? When we think of the making of The Crown Season 5, we think of the great challenges faced by the actors and the production team. Production for Season 5 of The Crown had a major setback in the final week of production, when £150,000 worth of props were stolen. Set decorator Alison Harvey recalled, One of the worst things that happened this season was three of the prop trucks with our antiques got broken into overnight, and all the antiques were stolen off the back. It was obviously a nightmare because we had to try to replace them quickly. The twist was that when the crime was reported, the police said they didn't have time to investigate the theft because they had found a body in the river nearby. The body turned out to be a prosthetic belonging to the production team of The Crown and was one of the items stolen from the back of the trucks. Number 4. These actors have a few tricks up their sleeves. Elizabeth Debicki had a secret resource in preparing for her role as Diana. When describing how she took on the daunting task of becoming Princess Diana, Elizabeth said, Diana being the most photographed person in the world at that time, there's just this incredible amount of content that we have access to. The Crown Season 5 actors all seem to need to develop a deep understanding of what they think their characters are going through at the time. And it's a big challenge at first. Elizabeth Debicki he describes the task. Obviously, as an actor, you, you open the portal and it's just this huge tsunami of information that comes at you. Elizabeth says the challenge eventually starts to ease up until it's time to start filming. You start to sort of inhabit them and embody them, and then all of a sudden you have to just make this crazy leap. Number five. Unlike some of his castmates, Dominic West had a secret advantage. He has actually met the real life counterpart of his character several times. West said, I've been in a line to shake his hand a few times, and it's fascinating. It's very useful to meet the character you're playing, obviously. Number six. This stuff is gold. We viewers of The Crown Season 5, or any of the seasons, might agree that the resemblance between the actor's portrayal and their real-life counterparts is almost uncanny. And maybe because some of us as viewers remember the events portrayed in Season 5 of The Crown, it can be a little too close for comfort. Imelda Staunton describes the season. It does start with people questioning, do we need the monarchy? Do we need the Queen? And she has to ride that particular storm. What does this stormy weather mean for the actors? Staunton breaks it down for us. These are tumultuous times within the family, so these are the difficult years. Some viewers have expressed criticism around the way these events have been portrayed, some claiming that the script has moments of historical inaccuracy, but The Crown Season 5 actor Jonathan Price reminds us of this. The public are well aware that it's a drama, it's not a documentary. Number 7. They Got the Call 
Most of the actors who have been cast in The Crown season five, and probably the other seasons too, tend to agree that they are initially excited to hear the news that they got the role. And then the reality of the daunting task starts to set in. Dominic West was no exception, and had this to say about taking on the role of Charles in The Crown season five. I was slightly in despair. How was I going to get the physicality of this guy? Cause the only time I really look like Charles is from behind, because the hair is just perfect. Elizabeth Debicki shared this story about when she got the news. As an actor, your only moments of peace and total bliss are the 20 minutes of when someone offers you the role, and you're on the phone, and you're a million miles in the air, and you think it's just everything you've ever wanted and dreamed of. Obviously, then you just think, but how do I do it? Number eight, a tough act to follow. It can be hard for an actor to step into a role that has been done by someone else so recently. Or maybe it's just hard for us viewers to get used to it. Either way, there's something to be said for the challenge. So what's the secret? Here's what The Crown season five actor Imelda Staunton has to offer. We've also seen the first four series of The Crown. So of course, we've got that in our heads, as well as the research, as well as our own history of looking at those characters, those real people. So all those layers you've got, hopefully will carry us through. Number nine, we want to watch more carefully now. The task of the actors in The Crown season five is to tell these stories, and their job can be enhanced greatly by a feeling of immersion in the world of the story. Here's what The Crown season five actor Dominic West has to say about stepping into the role that has been built for them. If you're dealing with paperwork or in a meeting, the stuff that's printed on things, which no one will ever see, that's the level of detail that the props department go to. We can only imagine the secrets buried in each set and prop piece. And we can probably all agree with Dominic when he says, So much goes unseen and unthanked. Number 10, criticisms have arisen around season five of The Crown for seemingly blurring the lines between fact and fiction. Maybe it's that season five covers a few events that some of us can barely remember or have read about. The Crown season five actor Dominic West has to share. The great tensions that you see in this season that Peter has written about is between this 1950s outlook on the monarchy and on public life and on marriage and the modern day and how they clash. Some of the criticisms of season five have come from people who are friends of Charles and Camilla, like Dame Judi Dench. Season five actor Jonathan Price explains, those particular criticisms came from not having seen a second of film of this series. So why are these people speaking out like this? Price adds, the assumption is that their friend, that Prince Charles, would be damaged in some way. This seems understandable if someone has not seen the show but only heard about some of the details of the story. Jonathan adds, all we are presenting in The Crown is what happened. The Crown season five has brought us yet another compelling collection of stories around these historic characters, and with it, another set of curious secrets around how the season was brought to life. This is only a short list of the tales from behind the scenes. So what did we miss? What do you think? Let us know in the comments below.